Hi, in this video we will see normalizer transformation in IICS. The normalizer transformation is an active transformation that transforms one incoming row into multiple output rows. When the normalizer transformation receives a row that contains multiple occurring data, it returns a row for each instance of the multiple occurring data. For example, a relational source includes four fields with quarterly sales data. We can configure a normalizer transformation to generate a separate output row for each quarter. When the normalizer transformation returns a multiple rows from an incoming row, it returns duplicate data for single occurring incoming columns. When we configure a normalizer transformation, we need to define uh, the properties, the properties panel. The properties are normalized field tab and field mapping tab. In the normalized field tab, we are going to define multiple occurring field and specify the additional fields that we want to use in mapping. And, the, and in the field mapping tab, we are going to connect the incoming field to the normalized field. In this process, the normalizer is going to create an additional two more attributes, the generated column ID and generated key. The generated column ID, it is an in incremental value starting with one for each occurrence of multiple occurring data within the row and it reset back to one for next row. Whereas in generated key, it is a key for each incoming row the key starts with one and it and is incremented by one for each process row and it is an optional field in this mapping i am using uh, the flat file as a source file i have taken a very simple example the name and the marks in three subjects it is having uh, the four field name and subject names maths physics and chemistry and here target i have selected a snowflake connection and I'm selecting, I'm using the table name as a TGT normalizer, which is having the fields name, subject, marks, JK marks, and GCID as I discussed in the previous slides. Here I have taken additional subject to identify the subject name. I'm using expression transformation to identify the subject name with the help of GCD marks key values. Let's go to the dashboard of IICS and we'll create the mapping. Go to new mapping. I'll create a mapping. I'll give the name m underscore no autorization transformation. I select the source. Source I said flat file and I'll select the subject. Subject name is uh, normalizer underscore tr.csv. I will add the normalizer transformation. As discussed, I'm going to check this normalizer field. Here I'm going to create the one field which I select from incoming field, that name field. And one more field I'm going to create for these uh, subjects marks I'm going to create one more new field new field the name is marks it is of type number and it has three occurrence the moment when when I add three over here you can see GCID marks and GKID marks automatic GK marks is automatically added by the normalizer transformation. I go to the field mapping. I'll map the field name, the name I'm going to map name, and math subject I will mark math with marks one, physics marks two, chemistry marks three. This completes the normalizer transformation. Uh, here still I have to configure the target before configuring the targets I am going to add one more uh, transformation that is expression transformation 
to identify the subject name it is an optional to identify subject name i'm going to use expression transformation here i will create one outfield name is o underscore subject and i'll configure i'm going to decode this gcid marks with respect to subject i'll add decode Add the sub PCID marks if it is one. In that case, the subject will be physics. Mathematics maths. If it is PC ID underscore. If it is two, then the subject will be physics. If it is three, then subject will be chemistry. Let me validate. That's valid. And go to target. In the target, I'll select the target connection as a snowflake connection. I'll select the target object. Let me check the target. This is target, it is already created. Let me check if anything is there in the target. It is empty right now. My source is this one. Select this target. Let's see the mapping. The mapping is complete. I'll create the mapping construction task for this mapping. Go to this new mapping task. Yeah, invalid point is showing invalid. Let me check still if my mapping is invalid. Let me check this issue. Target. Yeah, I have not mapped. Let the field map. I have to mark map the fields. I'll auto map it. Smart map it. It is mapped. Now I will save. Now my mapping is valid. I can create the configuration task. MCT underscore. Okay, I select my secure agent. I go to next and finish. <coughs> my configuration task is ready. Um, I can execute this task. You can see my source is this and target is this empty. I'll run this mapping. Run. So I go to my jobs. Starting. Can see three rows are processed. Now, success my mapping is success total nine rows processed. You can see 
it read three rows and return nine rows you can check and select star from you can see i have added a that subject mass datum directly taken from gcid one is equal to mass physics and chemistry you can see gcid and gcid there are total nine rows but my input is three rows in the next video, we'll see uh, the parameterization of the connection and the objects in this normalization, normalizer transformation. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.